And as you can see behind me, this is what it usually looks like during a hurricane. You see all that wind and usually that's what comes to mind. But that wind does something else and it's storm surge. We've been talking about this for days now and I wanted to give you a visualization of what storm surge is to kind of wrap your mind around why it's so dangerous. So let's bring in a normal situation into the studio here. So normal day down there. In central southern Florida, you have the waves lapping on shore. No big issue. We have the sea level here right at normal. You can see the wind, though, starting to increase. And that wind over time takes a toll. It starts to pile drive that water in. So when you go from a normal level, you can quickly go to levels rising about three feet. That can happen within a couple of hours. Seems like no big deal, right? Well, that wind is continuing. Hurricanes tend to be slow moving, so that water is gonna continue to pile drive in. So now you're up to six feet of water. Six foot of storm surge, yeah, that's coming into the first level of your home. Well, you think, oh, well, maybe I'll go to the second floor. Well, our projections right now are for 12 to 18 feet of water. So you can see what that does here. That's over the second story of your home. So that's why this is unsurvivable storm surge in some spots. That's 12 to 18 foot of water. Plus there are waves on top of that. So that's why this separates this storm from a lot of hurricanes that we talk about. Hopefully everybody taking those precautions, but let's break down that storm surge situation for you because unlike some of the other hurricanes that have come into Florida, this is coming into a very populated area. Here's Sanibel Island, here's Punta Gorda, Tampa up to the north, Tampa a change for you for the better in terms of the storm surge. It's all about this southwestern coast where you see the red here. That's where we're expecting over nine feet of storm surge. With nine feet of storm surge, you can have entire neighborhoods destroyed. So that's why this is a serious situation. Look at all that territory here. This is all low lying. As that water comes in, there's also going to be rain falling and it can't drain out because that storm surge is coming in. Look at all of this territory here, even down to Naples. It's that right front quadrant of the storm. That's where the water has been piling up. That's the storm surge that I've been showing you here on uh, the maps here this afternoon. So